Okay, my name is Ben Price. I'm from San Antonio. <clears throat> We're here today to talk about uh, lesson two in the Absolute Beginner Banjo uh, series. I'm going to have three videos. This is the second one. Uh, to start with the game, we're, we're targeting people who are literally absolute beginners. This is your first crack at it. In video number one, we talked about how to hold the banjo. Uh, initially, you'll probably just be sitting down on your lap. We talked about the straps. We also talked about uh, how to tune, uh, tune the banjo. And uh, number three, how to use the finger picks. I did want to mention in terms of tuning that you can purchase uh, uh, these little clip-on tuners. They're about $10. You can clip it onto the headstock and uh, there are instructions to come with it and we'll tell you uh, when, when the string is in tune. They work really well and they're, uh, they're quite inexpensive, so that's good. As well, I mentioned you can download a, a tuner app for your smartphone. Uh, perhaps the advantage of the tuner app is that it that gives you a picture of the neck of the banjo, tells you the names of the strings and uh, which string you're, you're playing and, and as it tunes it, it gives you a, a visual indication of, of, uh, of the tuning. So, and you can download those for free, so you can do that, that's great. So today we're going to talk about uh, the learning curve on the banjo. And I wanted to mention that uh, some things in life, the learning curve is, is exponential, which is to say you learn quite quickly. And the thought of riding a bicycle comes to mind. So it's very possible to get up one morning and never have ridden a bicycle before, and by the end of the day, you can ride a bicycle. Uh, that's not the case of the banjo. It's more of a linear learning curve. And it's just uh, practice, practice, practice. So just want to let you know up front, if you're a new banjo player, uh, it's, it's a question of putting in the time, and that's good. So just, just know that it's good, you put in the practice time, and it will pay off. There, there's no sort of magic to it. Uh, number two, uh, yes, I was just talking about practicing. Uh, being methodical in, in your practice is, is kind of the key. Uh, some instruments you can kind of strum them. The banjo, particularly for the bluegrass style, which is what I'm presuming that you're interested in, is more of a measure-by-measure uh, measure, uh, learning uh, exercise. So be prepared to do that. It's a good thing. It will, if you're a patient person, you'll have no trouble with this. If patience is not your virtue, uh, you're going to be learning some patience because that's the, that's the key to, uh, to doing the banjo. Uh, secondly, uh, speed is not your friend. In terms of learning the banjo, one of the a bad thing you can do is uh, attempt to play a song uh, too quickly. Uh, being methodical, getting all the notes correct, is uh, is what you need to do. So uh, learn the song at, at the whatever the slowest pace you need to go in order to get the fingerings and so forth. The left hand fingerings and the right hand fingerings. You have both of those to get those correct before you try to speed up. Remember, speed is not your friend. I also want to talk about, if you're going to be practicing a lot, you're probably going to develop a whole bunch of, uh, of people in your household who will be encouraging you in one way or another. They may be encouraging you to practice or encouraging you to go somewhere else. So you could invest, a banjo is a fairly loud instrument. So you, you could invest in a banjo mute. You, you can also use these uh, high quality uh, the, uh, gadgets here, which are common clothes pins. Uh, as a mute, you simply clip them onto the bridge, and it will it will mute it uh, and mute it a bit. So if you're looking for an inexpensive mute, uh, clothespins work fine. They they won't damage the banjo, and and uh, you might have a couple of these laying around somewhere. Uh, in our last video, we talked about uh, learning a couple of chords. We're going to learn the song Happy Birthday for no particular reason. Now, the banjo is tuned to a G chord, so once it's in tune, if you simply strum the strings, you get a beautiful G chord. So in order to play Happy Birthday, we only need two other chords. By the way, chords are a, just a bunch of kind of strings put together. There's, there's patterns for them and so forth, but for the moment, we're, we'll say the, chord, the G chord is all the strings. And we're going to play a C chord, which is your third finger on the small string. Uh, second fret, right behind, well that's a good point, a good point. Uh, when you put your finger on the banjo fretboard, you want your finger right in back of the fret, not on top of it, right in back of it. So put your third finger on the top string, second fret, your first finger on the second string, first fret, and your third finger on the fourth string, second fret, and play those strings. That's a C chord, like Charlie. 
When you start doing this, it's going to take you a few seconds to, get, to go from open to putting those fingers down. Again, it's one of these practice things. So open is a G. The chord you're just looking at is a C. And we have one more chord. D is in dog. And we're going to play open on the top string. Third finger on the third fret second string. So that'll give you the, and I'm sorry, and then the first finger on the third string, second uh, fret. Gives you sort of a D chord. For our, for our purposes, that's fantastic. So that's the D, the open is a G. G, C, open, and D. Now I'm going to ask you to use your finger picks uh, because that's. Uh, Part of the whole deal. We're not going to strum like I was just doing, so we're going to use our finger picks. And because we're talking about uh, beginner stuff here, you can play any uh, any strings you want as we're going along. So we're going to play Happy Birthday. <clears throat> Hold your hand. Like, remember, you're kind of holding an orange or some sort of small fruit. Your thumb's probably going to play the little drone string up here. And have your other two fingers. Play any two strings you want. And we're, we're just practicing right now. So you're going to play an open, all, all your left your left hand is not playing anything. And that's the happy birthday to, and you're going to play the D chord. If I can play D chord. To you. Happy birthday to you. Open. Happy birthday, dear Lukey C chord. Happy birthday, G. D, two, two. The reason we're doing this is to start using your right hand, really. The song's not important. Uh, and, and whether you mess up or not, do not, don't focus on that. Just start thinking about your right hand. Get, get comfortable having those finger picks on your right hand. It's going to take a while, so get comfortable with your finger picks on your right hand. Uh, again, don't worry so much about the chords and so forth. Just start getting the habit of using your right hand to play, pluck or play those notes. Happy birthday to you. 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 Uh, the next, uh, uh, that's it for this video. Please post any questions below. The next video we're going to talk about starting a uh, tab using rolls and so forth and show you how that works. So hope you're enjoying this. Uh, you've got one more video to go and then you're going to be well on your way to uh, becoming the, the uh, honored banjo player that you were meant to be. So hope you all have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.